Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, the automation upgrade! We are playing on La Nova de Mort, rough translation for Death Star, of course with Imperial officers and um, various, various, like, this guy's not an Imperial officer, but he lived on Coruscant and we had to, like, get a chef on board, so we, we grabbed him. Last time we managed to get ourselves some decent oxygen system on the go, and with that in mind, I think I'm going to destroy this... I, algae deoxygenator right here because all this is doing is pumping heat into this system here uh, speaking of i've noticed that most of my heat is coming from down here as expected i did really expect that to happen but all my cooling is going down up here now the reason i've done this is because i want my bristle blossoms to be nice and chilled but it's not really being all that effective what i think i want to do is grab a ventilation and just pop that in there i think like that would be a very good way of doing this i'm also going to run in some gas wires like that some gas lines sorry and destroy that 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 should hopefully if i plan things out well lead us to a little bit of better cooling going on here speaking of a little bit of better cooling i want to carry on working on this system as you know this is not the full this is not its final form uh we've got quite a lot of heat in here and it's just carrying on building so we need to do something about removing that heat from that system now i've been having a look around at the materials that we have available to us and whilst things um well in fact to be honest rock is terrible i was going to say things like rock could work we've got uh, 0 0.79 uh, for a specific heat capacity if we go have a look in actual water we've got a four that's not a 0 0.4 an actual full four but then I came over here and had a look at this polluted water that's a full-on six, like a whole six. So this can uh, hold a whole lot of heat energy before it actually starts raising its temperature. So I think we're going to be using this as one of our mediums for shunting uh, li uh, shunting heat around, not liquid, heat around. Uh, what I want to do with that is put a liquid pipe there, a liquid vent here, and also I think we're going to need to get a new bit of automation on the go. Yes, indeed, the hydro sensor. So let's come on down here, improve plumbing. I'm actually going to go all the way down to the liquid tuning. There was something else I wanted as well. If I stroke my chin a couple of times, I might remember what it is. It is, of course, the advanced power regulation because this thing here, this uh, thermo aqua tuner um it's a power hog not not even a little bit like a massive power hog it draws in 1200 watts of power now those of you that have been uh, keeping note on all this or at least playing along as well know that the uh, the base wire which i can't actually show you on here the base wire only can carry a thousand watts so just running that thing on its own would be enough to fry everything that's going on which sounds interesting to me. Uh, I'm also going to do something else for gas management. You can see over here we've got some chlorine, some hydrogen. Down the bottom here we've also got chlorine and hydrogen. I'm just going to dig this ladder way down the bottom here so that we can have a nice little separation going because I need to dig through here and I don't want this chlorine finding its only way to sink down to be here and then have nowhere to go but inside the base because that I, I don't want chlorine in my base. I, I don't mind a little bit of chlorine in my base, but I don't want a lot of chlorine. I'm also starting to notice that we've got quite a bit of stress on the go here. So I'm going to press F8 and have a look, ooh, have a look at our decor expectations here. Uh, so we've got to fix this place up. This is somewhere where people spend a lot of time chilling out. So I'm going to put one of those up there and a couple of sculptures either side. Perhaps we'll put a little bit more up there. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll think long and hard on that. I'd also like to put something there. I'm, like, I'm going to put that there and put an airflow tile on this side. That should, that should help that out. This place... Not looking the greatest, but honestly, uh, I don't think we want to do too much here anyway, because I need to expand this out. Now, as I just said, uh, the liquid tuner that we're going to put at the top, the aqua tuner, can I come out of there, please? Thank you. It's going to draw a lot of power, more power than this can actually produce. Just the aqua tuner on its own is going to need two coal generators. Now, thankfully, it doesn't work that often. You know, what to begin with, we're going to have to use it a lot, almost constantly so we need to have the coal generators uh, being there to actually be able to power it to begin with because uh, we're going to have to try and get it down from whatever temperature this is 26 degrees maybe down to um 
Oh, if it was up to me, zero. Like we'd we'd have it just below, just on the the freezing point of normal water. But that's okay because this stuff can go down all the way down to minus twenty. Like polluted water is like your boy when it comes to being a, a, a heat holder. You can see you can get it all the way down to minus twenty and all the way up to a hundred and twenty, which is just amazing and it's quite thermally conductive as well. So I'm going to be trying to use that here. Are people coming through to work? Do my work now? Okay, cool. Piet was also the man who was having trouble yeah he's down to 49 now though so hopefully just the fact that we've started planning these things out is gonna help him in fact we can do just one one little more thing let's uh let's make the outside start to feel a little bit nicer i don't know if that's actually gonna do anything can we put one there we can't put one there that's a bit of a shame uh i think we could also destroy that and put a little picture in there that'll probably work out well and i think up here things are going quite well because the uh, bristle blossoms bristle blossoms sorry get that right uh produce positive decor themselves it's just a shame that the planter boxes and millwoods take so much off just so much I'm also thinking that we've not seen a great deal of this map and there's some nice pathways that we can take left and right here you can see there's a good way through there without running into any germs and there's a good way through here without running into too many germs and more importantly that gives us a reason for ripping this back down now uh, and see if we can't go over yonder I think that would be a great idea to just go just go and see what is available to us out here also a load of abyssalite that's nice so is this stuff like actually is this biome just hotter than the rest of the biomes? Is it naturally warm? Is, is that a thing that goes down? I'm not, I'm not sure if that's the case or not. Uh, we will find out. This is being built, but it's taken a little bit of time because obviously we've got jobs going on in the background elsewhere. Uh, in particular, most of this art stuff. I'd also like to start thinking about where I'm going to be putting my next bunch of duplicates. Because obviously we've got these guys down here. Now they were kind of just crammed into here as tight as they can go. And I think we can do a little bit better than that. Also, I think it's about time we put some real toilets in somewhere maybe we'll knock this one down and make this a real toilet uh the lights in the way i'm not sure about that uh but also i'd like to put i don't know another set of toilets up here with a new living quarters in the middle and then we can start thinking about having them do other jobs up here like i'd like yeah 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 over here i'd like some thimble i'd like a thimble reed farm that's what i want i want a thimble reed farm up here maybe in this middle bit here that'd be pretty cool i mean what does it want um just the temperature and a little bit of irrigation for domestic growth. We can do that. Polluted water, even better we can do that. Okay, I seem to have run into a small issue here. It's an issue I could have predicted if I'd given it a little bit of thought. But you can see we're actually pulling a vacuum here, um, which means that all this has lost pressure. I, mean, I can try just opening the door for now, and we'll see what happens there. But this is taking all my cooling. I suppose it's all going up there, right? Is there a way of disabling this? We can deconstruct, disable, disinfect. Uh, let's just try disabling that and see what happens. If all the oxygen that comes out gets pumped back in there, because obviously it's all getting shunted up. Up there uh, I don't know if that's gonna help at all though it might, it might be too little too late is this door also gonna get opened at any point nine please if we could that would be great uh, the next thing I was gonna do is put a deconstruct on that little uh, toilet over there and start thinking about how we're gonna do this oh look we got insulated pipes now uh, that's okay well, that's a fine I, I started putting in pipes over there and it probably would have been better to use the insulated ones but I'll live with it we'll we'll make do now the reason I want to do this does it actually get built it does it it leaves room that's a great okay so we've got a water pipe coming up here let's have a look let's slow this down as well it's going a little bit fast so we've got a decent water uh, a decent water a clean water coming in like that i'd like to go up and into there now the next thing i want to do is try and pump my dirty water into here if at all possible i think i should be able to do it uh doing like this come down and across and down like that 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 seems to work pretty well for me uh we're going into the white so i need to turn it around like that 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 should work hopefully uh, it's going to take a little bit of time for them to queue up all the jobs, but let's just kind of go along and give them a prod about it all. Uh, I don't mind, as I have said many times in many seasons of this game, I don't mind going around putting a priority nine on build orders because they get the uh, they get to disappear after the build is done so they're not like a constant drain insulated tile wire oh yeah no i did want to come out with the wire that that is true i want to make sure that all the um 
all the nuts and bolts of this particular area, the pipes and the wires and, and stuff like that, leads to the walls so that I can access them without having to crack inside this uh, extremely hot area. This, uh, this temperature is dropping. This temperature is rising. Okay, we got a little bit of an issue there. Uh, that is essentially what I want to happen, but it's going to take some time to actually get that how I want it to happen. We kind of want to seal this in and start filling it up with nasty, nasty water, if at all possible. Maybe I should put a shower down, because that showers produce a lot of polluted water. I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not. Uh, there's a couple of other things I can do to help speed this up. If we go nine here, I'm a little bit worried about the chlorine falling through, though we do have a nice little trap down the bottom for that to work uh, that's a good nine they, these should also be nines hopefully so let's put this onto an eight so that's kind of like the secondary thing that happens do, do we have materials is this the thing what's it what's it saying unbreathable no that's all right um waiting normal iron let's just quickly make some just in case you never know i might not have enough i might not uh there, there does appear to be some iron there. In fact, there's 45 grams of iron there. I wonder why people aren't getting Because they're doing the pipes. Ah, I'll be back when that's done. Oh, I've also noticed I can do another job I've been meaning to do for some time now. If I uh, just come across here and have a look, you can see all these algae terraria are floating up through the top. I want to move them down here. And with that, I think I actually want to move uh, this. Let let's get out of that particular overlay there. Uh, I want to move the ceiling light like over here. I think that would be a much better plan. Uh, if these shine bugs weren't here, I could find out exactly where I wanted to put them. Actually, I'm not going to put it there. I'm going to put it over one, maybe? I want it to be sort of floating in the middle. Let, let's try that. Let's see what happens when we do that. I also want to go for a little bit of power, of course. That's not where power is. That's where my food is. Uh, and then we want to cancel or build, sorry, everything. Destroy everything? Destroy everything. Okay, awesome. Okay, everything seems to be built in there. I just want to try and get this igneous rock out of here. I'm not, I'm not entirely certain why. I'm sure at some point it will make sense. Uh, this has just come online as well. That's good. There's no need to turn any priorities up on it. It's not like the rest of the stuff. Tark going around doing the thing. Let's clear those. Oh, no, let's clear those like that. I think that'll work. A-okay. Water's going around. Right, this is good. This is good. This is also now starting to get a bit of pressure back up, is it? Uh, let's, uh, let's have a look. Let's press this one okay it is actually being drug in with it dragged in i'm not sure what the uh, the, the proper tense is there uh i think we're gonna work out a okay though yeah yeah everything's gonna balance out here and we'll try and figure out what we can do about this what's the temperature doing it's it's fluctuating wildly wildly fluctuating i suppose that kind of makes sense with all the heat being drawn in from there at the same time like it'd be good if we could start dealing with the heat in this area i'm not sure if that's a thing we can do at some point oh man more 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 sand here oh oh there's already germs in here uh, don't worry about them it's lost cause we'll just leave them there uh, i'm actually going to cancel that bottle emptier and just let's cap this let's cap this now we might be able to get it um oh, what do we what do we want to build it out of now nah, i'm just going to cap it like this and then i'm going to have another cold tank up top uh this is where the have i got it yet have i got it yet here's the question i do not have it quite yet uh let's let's have a look uh, i did however get the improved plumbing and the advanced power regulation done so we've got to figure out where we're going to put things like if i come into the power and have a heavy watt joint plate we want that to be like there can we build it out of something less conductive doesn't look like we can okay that's that's fine we'll we'll live with that somehow um uh you guys are gonna do a very big bad aren't you uh p6 let's turn those right down i, I don't want people working on other areas are you guys just like picking up germs here is that actually what's going down i think piet might be let's have a look zero surface germs no we're, we're all good we're all good uh let's turn that one up see if they're gonna go inside to get that one working uh we've got no power going down here i want to put another couple of coal generators in as i have explained previously indeed with power let's get a heavy watt system coming down here i've got a feeling we're going to end up using a transformer here to pump weak power back in we're gonna probably end up breaking here this this bunch of wire then we'll have a heavy watt system coming on down here let's let's do that let's do that we're gonna we're gonna break that there we're gonna get a heavy watt system going across all of this i'm not sure how well this is gonna work straight off but it's definitely a thing is that 
Oh, have I got to break them? Can I not go over the top? That's a shame. So let's do that like that. And when that all gets bust through, we'll know to do some more work on it. Uh, that being said, I think what I want to do is build myself a little bit of a barrier here. Two of those and a manual airlock should probably help out quite nicely there. Let's do that at a high priority because I want to now put another wall over this side as well. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go for more power. We'll go for a heavy watt bridge like that. Uh, I think that'll be pretty good. Let's cancel these down here and then we'll have like a power system in here. It'll be separate from out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Let's go for tiles. Can I, how much abyssalite do I have? Not, not a great deal. Not a great deal. Let's do it like this instead. Um, in fact, cancelling that. Yeah, no, I'm going to cancel that. We can come along and start digging a few of those out. Is this getting done? It is getting done. Okay, nice. Nice. All right, that's a little bit of research that I've been waiting for there. Also going to completely clear this out. The scrubber needs to drop down. There's no wire connected. Of course there's no wire connected because I disconnected all the major wire systems there. So I could come along and get a heavy watt wire system doing this system here. Let's go down and through there like this up to both the batteries coming back down. This is going to need a small rebuild down here. That's fine. We can definitely live with that and make it work. Let's get rid of that battery and that carbon scrubber because no doubt we'll get needs to use it somewhere else. I'm also going to go 999. So hopefully that prioritizes these things and gets it all built quicker and of course the the uh, night time has happened but I think you'll have a look down here and I've got a whole new thing not the hydra sensor down here in utilities we've got a thermo tepidizer no aqua tuna that's the one the thermo tepidizer is uh, something else but don't worry about that misspoke uh, I'm gonna go into the power grab that like there now I need to think about where a do we have it here? Where is it? The transformer goes. Oh, look at this. It's a lot bigger than I remember it being. Can we swap it? We can swap it around. I suppose what we can do is cancel this build. Uh, power. You're here somewhere. I don't know why I'm having such trouble locating the, uh, the transformer. Do it like that. Power heavy watt in like that, right? Yes, I think. And then I can wire bridge over the top of this with normal wire and hopefully that will work out A-OK -okay for us. I think so, because this power was already on less than a thousand, even running at full tilt. Uh, this should hopefully get everything else fixed properly for us. I'm glad they got up and got that fixed for us. That is a good, good work. Uh, maybe P7 on the... Ooh, I, I kind of right clicked there. Wow. Uh, maybe P7 on these to make sure everything... Uh, on the outside the surround gets sealed in for us and then on the six we'll go along and do all these jobs that really do need doing okay i don't think it's the ideal setup here but we've got enough gas to keep all of them going apart from this one so i'm going to just disable this building worse than that i'm going to deconstruct this building and throw up another statue here we should still have enough mu uh, enough food these guys are too hot that is a shame, and I can see why they're too hot as well. We're going to have to set up their own separate system. We've been thinking about this for a little while here, but I just wanted to get the, the bare bones of this system played down before I moved on to the next one. Uh, it looks like it is going to have to be a separate place for each room. That's, uh, that's a bit of a shame, or at least we can try and figure out another way of doing it, like with shut-off valves and stuff like that, maybe? Um, maybe like whilst this thermosensor is active, we have a shut-off valve over here that also turns on, and then we can do the similar thing up here with its own um, gas pump and cooling system. That, that might be the way. Yeah, indeed, that might be the way. But everything down here has uh, gone, gone, gone and got itself built rather well. I'm waiting for this to fill up with dirty water. So I think what I might do is start working up here. So if I just start to drag this through, I want to start work on a lavatory. I do indeed. Do I want to put it up the top here? I think I might. What I'm going to do is we're going to get the actual lavatory itself. We're going to pop it down in this space here. Do I want to move that pinch of pepper or do I just want to use move, leave it there growing? I think I might just leave it there growing. It seems to be uh, quite content. So if I can put down a manual airlock there, 
there. Uh, hopefully, people just won't go through it. That That's my plan. People just won't go through it. We'll go up four and come across the top here. Standard room sizes. If I uh, do a seven there quickly, maybe people can come up and do a little bit of work before it gets totally sealed in. Yeah, good man. That's what we want. Okay, so what order are we going to do this in? I think we're going to have a shower in the background and we'll have a lavatory after that. Uh, then maybe we'll have a little bit of furniture here just to make everybody feel good about what's going down. Can we get a light in here somewhere? I, it doesn't show me how much light it's going to do. That's because we're in the decor overlay. How about if I come to the light overlay and try it like this? Does that show me? It shows me little bits here. Uh, that I believe to be the entire floor of the room. Uh, and then we want to also have in here medicine. We should have this sink that could go down like that. A little bit too big there. A little bit too big. I could take that out and just make it a thing. But I think instead what we're going to do is take down the majority of this ladder uh, and recognize that this one is going to be the one that carries on up. That, that's got to be the way, right? That's not build. Uh, that's not deconstructing. Why not? Like that. Thanks. Cheers. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, also going to want to throw a few more tiles out across here. Like That's about as far as our bathroom wants to come out, right? Something like that. Uh, maybe just put a pneumatic door on it and start thinking about how we are going to plumb this baby up. Uh, now, most of the plumbing I want for now to come down here to this outlet, I think, because then I can eventually end up using this as the outflow pipe, maybe. I also have a nice handy water system here to drag up into the bottom of these yeah just like that that and that that will work out a-okay now what do i want to do with uh, this lot as i say i want to take it down this side but how do i want to do that uh, do i want to go up to the roof or do i only want to go like up to here and take it across this way i've got the um the shower at the far end yeah the the point that's gonna do the least overriding because it's the one that does the most water. Let's do that. Let's see if this works. I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to put some ladders down if I want it to work the way I would like it to. Yeah, that's that's kind of good there. Uh, is nine what I want to do? Yeah, nine's what I'm going to do. We're going to just do it like this. Bam. That should now get all the work done. Uh, is this unreachable or is this just... That, so that's unreachable up there. Let's put down a few ladders also on a nine, like so. That should help out. We're not going to be able to get these guys... In. Oh, yeah, no, they can. If they want, they can walk in there and do all this, right? Maybe? Maybe. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. What's the current state of the door? It is auto, but there's no reason to go in here. What's going on with the oxygen levels down here? We're, we're still relatively pumped with oxygen. Um, I mean, if I pump that up, is that what we want? Is that, I, don't, I don't know if that's what we want. I'll bring it back down for now and we'll try and figure it out. Uh, so now that these are all built, are we going to see the rest of the people come along and do the actual work for us? guys at all you can't get through this hole ah, i see i see uh this is a problem that i've had in the past let's uh slightly slightly rock up the place let's see if we can do it properly like this um can you go a little bit higher awesome krennic that, that'd be good if you can get in there i don't know okay so this guy's gonna come along dexter of course and break that now hopefully people can do some jumping across and like wonderful parkour skills will bring us all of these bits of pipe maybe i don't know if piet can get down to do this one that's kind of like my my most high priority job really is this one down the bottom here um i can't really do much about it other than just sit and wait yeah no that is the case because they're all on nine okay awesome now with that we're going to get this tile back up and running here and then this door should go back to being locked right well not so much locked but just ignored oh have we um that's an interesting system there what just happened a little bit of carbon dioxide might have gone past it, maybe something like that. Uh, I'm glad that none of the hydrogen is escaping. This this makes me a happy person. Happy person in a deed. Yeah, the, 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 there's something going on to make this guy turn on and off every now and then. Maybe we're just, like, down at that level. Yeah, below 12. Let's turn that up to about, like, you know, below... 13. Let's see what happens. Let's let's see if this turns on and off a little bit more often here. Uh, I know this just isn't. I was about to be like, oh, these guys aren't building their thing, but you know why? It's because they haven't got any way up there. Uh, obvious, really, when you stop and think about it, but there we go. Right, that should be cool. I've uh, got ourselves some oxalite up here as well, and some... Uh 
some natural millwood still. They're having an atmospheric problem. So there's a little bit of chlorine up there. That's why. Okay, that's that's a thing, I suppose. Now, the next question is, do we want to have our new bunk in the middle or on the side? I think I might do it in the middle and then we can have something else on the side over here. Perhaps some sort of hatchway leaning outside uh, that's full of chlorine so we can start killing the germs, maybe? Might be a good idea. Might be. So not only do we have super low oxygen conditions up here, this is now all super not cold. So I'm going to go for crazy idea number two. I'm going to deconstruct this door. Uh, we're going to put in an airlock and then we're going to turn these into airflow tiles. Not this one, I don't think. I will have this as obsidian if it's not already. No, it's sandstone. So let's deconstruct and turn it into obsidian to allow the free transfer of heat. I think that would be a good idea. I also want to deconstruct that one as well. Uh, come into vent ventilation a normal pressure uh, normal pressure vent will be a fine put that down like that I think I also need to turn that onto a fairly high priority uh, airflow tiles Ooh, we're nearly out of iron so that's a thing put that in like that and uh, finally this door and hopefully hopefully if everything works out this should turn us into a much better pressurized well chilled system fingers crossed Fingers crossed. Uh, up here we have a working toiletry system. Yeah, it looks like we have. I'm going to um, cancel that build quickly because I want to get all of this done. Now, the only way I'm going to be able to do that is with a ladders. Let's put them in on a seven like like this. Hopefully that should work, I'm, I'm thinking, maybe. It might do, who knows. Uh, I'm also at the same time going to draw some power off of the oxygen system there which uh probably mean that we're gonna end up sending people up to here a bit more often uh i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing or just a thing uh also how are our water systems doing here they're here somewhere there we go and that should all just pump out into this system okay that's cool uh, it's not it's quite warm uh, that's one of the things we've been working on is making it quite warm uh the thermo sensor uh if above 10 degrees i would like it to turn on uh but we'll we'll, we'll work on that in a bit because we haven't put any power in there do we have we do have power in there let's have a look there should be power there should be power ah uh, we need to draw this down here but before i do that let's have a look Mm, that's right on the very edge of what we can actually say is safe. I might need another transformer somewhere. Might be the thing. Might be the thing. You shouldn't really be coming down here again, Dexter, but that, that's fine. We'll, we'll live with that. Let's press F1 and see what we're doing on the oxygen stakes. i got a feeling we're going to have problem with the amount of atmosphere. No, they come down to the same sort of area as that, so it's all down to body temperature. That's fine. That's something we can work on. And finally, this is all getting done as well. I'm glad they can climb up here, but can they go across here? This is the real question. Uh, this all says unreachable, so there's only really one way of uh, dealing with that, I suppose. Let's get the ladder out up on a 9. Come up here. G through that lot, I think. That's probably a good way of doing it. I think they can jump up through that corner. I think they can. We'll, we'll find out in a second. Uh, can we go a little bit faster to find out? That'd be great. There's also a little bit of sand to be dug there. Not the end of the world. Always do have to watch out for the sand sand builds. Well, the sand fall. That's, that's what worries me is f falling sand. Uh, is that good? No? Is that not good? I don't think this is good, guys. I don't think this is good at all. Uh, no, we're, okay, now we're fine. Now we're fine. Hopefully these people are just going to come along and fix all this stuff up now. No, no, they're all just going to abandon their jobs. Well done, guys. Well done. All right, working little toilet there. That's pretty good. Also managed to sweep up all the floor. I kind of find it a little bit of a shame that there's no way of... Where's build it? Where are on buildings? Of setting the background to a different, different type. Like, we're putting up some wallpaper? Well, paper would be nice. Something like that. Just a, just a tile in the background to make these guys feel better about living in the middle of an asteroid somewhere. You know what I'm saying? It'd make me feel better about living in the middle of an asteroid somewhere. This appears to be doing its job A-OK. -okay. We have water plumbing into here. Ready for this system up top, it looks like. So let's try and get this working. Now, obviously, we're going to want more water being pumped up there. So we're going to want a another outlet vent. Let's have a look here liquid vent if we can right there uh, I think we'll need another pump ah, I've not allowed for this properly 
Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's cancel all these out. Uh, let's put the... The, the Thermo Aqua Tuna there. I think that's a good idea. Uh, we can also, of course, get the Heavy Watt Wire going through like that. Then we want the out vent above it, right? So let's put the liquid pump over this side. That's going to go into there and down and out. Uh, yeah, 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 indeed, very much like this. And then we want to insulate the whole thing like that. I, th I think that's a good idea. So before I do anything serious, we're going to press the nine on that. And we're going to break through here, I think. Uh, now, now is the time. It's finally happened. We're going to drop all the chlorine down the bottom here. Maybe the carbon dioxide is going to get underneath it. I don't know. And I, mm, I, don't, I don't really want you doing that job. I just want you digging if possible. Yeah, see, that, that's a bit of a problem there. That is a bit of a problem there. So how about we cancel these ones and just do dig orders instead, which hopefully are on a relatively high high priority i mean eight or nine what's what's the difference really what is the difference really uh so these finally the bristle blossoms are going well we've got a good supply of food on the go yeah nice nice got to do something about that water i think and of course another day comes through to an end somehow still making enough oxygen not quite making enough power but i've got a feeling that's like a carryover from another day everything's looking a-okay though i've noticed we've not been doing any research for a little bit as well um i think i'm going to get the agriculture on the way because i wanted those hydroponic farm tiles there so i could at least replace these up and get ourselves uh, like a freed up dupe uh so people coming along to do the job here i think so that'll be pretty good if we can uh, i also want to fill this with um, polluted water. Man, I, that really just lot left me there. I was just like, oh, what's this stuff called? But yeah, I want to fill this up with polluted water as well. So we have like a double sink of polluted water. That should make things work out very well. Um, this what? No, I've done, I've done something wrong. I... Uh, mm. Okay, I know what I've done wrong. Whilst I am going to be using these, these are not for dripping this system on onto it. Uh, they are, in fact, this system is for just going through the tepidizer like that. Then this system is going to be for extracting the liquid as and when we need it. Uh, now, right now, we don't need it at all. So if I just leave these running out like that, that should work pretty well for us. Of course, we do also need to power this, but it's not... It's not the end of the world for that for right now. We just need to be able to uh, get it for later. Um, I actually will probably not end up ever using this. Like the ideal scenario is that I'll have an obsidian tile there with ideally, uh, I don't know, I've not found any cold biomes yet. Ideally, one of those cold machines. What are they called? The hydrogen crystal anti-entropy thermo chilling things. I'm sure I got the name right somewhere in there. Uh, so why aren't these guys digging out this way? Because they have not been told to do it with the highest of priorities. I would like you guys to really dig through. I've really got to find this edge of edge of map here somewhere. I, I know it's around somewhere. I know it's around somewhere. Oh, well, it's not so much the edge of the map. I'm looking for the cold. I'm looking for the cold biome. Oh, look, more algae, though. How am I doing with algae? I've not, I've not even begun to look. Oh, man. I'm not doing amazing, but I've still got so much around me. Just so much kicking around. I just, I'm not going to run out for ages. I am going to run out of this water soon, and that's good because that's what I wanted. I'm also going to take... Get rid of those, I think. Uh, maybe not this. Yeah, yeah, even this one. I'm going to get rid of them all because I just don't feel like we need them there. No, 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 no. I, I need this. Let's cancel that. Let's cancel that. This this needs to be a thing. Always someone goes straight for the for the uh, shower. Every time, just straight in there. Now, I'm not complaining too much because I really do need that polluted water. It's, uh, it's here somewhere. There we go. So it's quite good that it's coming in like this. Uh, this is going to have to be turned on soon. I don't know what I'm going to fill this one up with. It's probably going to be even more polluted water, and that'll be where the end state of all the heat actually ends up. I'm just trying to make this one cold to get the gradient working, and then this one can do the work that the gradient would have done for me. Uh, that's the plan anyway. And it feels like it's feel, filling up quite well. Uh, hopefully at some point we're going to reach a point where it's too hot. And then all the germs will start to die. Uh, it's not. We're not quite there yet. We're not there yet. Change rate. We're still actually growing. Uh, it's four, uh, 74 per cycle. Mm. 
per second. Okay, that's even worse. What did we just research? I, don't, I remember saying something to research, but I can't remember what it was. The agriculture. So maybe, maybe we want to put ourselves a refrigerator here. I'm, I'm going to go with that, actually. Let's get this refrigerator. Uh, pop it down there with a little bit of power going underneath like so. Uh, P9, because I would also like to make sure that its priority is high for moving all this food off the floor here and into being eaten uh, or at least into a refrigerated area to be eaten because that would be pretty sweet wouldn't it that would be uh, what's going on up here not in liquid and no power that's fine kind of expecting that is everything actually good here I think everything might actually be good here uh, we desperately need to fill this up with some sort of liquid though is this where I mean, do we want to just use normal water? The other thing is, like, this could end up being a place where we pump our dirty water for boiling. And then we have somewhere over here where the water condenses uh, and we extract clean water out. What was that refinement that just popped up? I don't, I don't know, whatever. Uh, so that that is another way that we could deal with it here. But I think for now, we're going to go plumbing, bottle emptier. I'm going to put this here on a high priority. I'm also then going to come down here and put a pitcher pump. Like here? Oh, no, that doesn't look like I'm allowed to. Okay, I'm going to break that so I can put a pitch pump in. That, that sounds like a much better idea. Yep, very much. Um, it doesn't matter if I can't get out that door. I have no intentions of going out there at this present moment in time. I'm sure at some point I'm going to want to, but not right now. And when I want to, I'll just build an actual proper proper platform across it by some, some way. Some way. I'm not sure entirely how. P9 to get rid of those, if at all possible. Um, and these should be on P9 anyway, because like making sure this carbon dioxide gets processed through is quite an important job quite an important job oh man night time oh it'd be nice if there was a mod that allowed us to have like all all daytime just just nothing but daytime i know it wouldn't be like the most realistic experience of running an organic being but uh it, it'd work for me okay bottle emptier is ready we're gonna go for if i can come through here polluted water and we're gonna enable auto bottling because i would like this to get filled up at least up to the second level uh with water and i believe this one should be able to do it with polluted water sorry and that should be able to do it for me should be able to do it for me. Are you going to go around and do, do do my thing? No, no, you're you're all coming down here. I mean, that's a good job. I am quite happy with you doing that. Uh, let's put this through on the seven as well. Uh, whew, okay, we've got a thing up there. That's pretty good. G7, let's keep it digging through. I don't know what we're going to find. Balm Lily, let's cancel that uproot for now. I don't know what we're going to do with it. I'm kind of hoping we can find a cold biome on the other side of this. Kind of hoping. Okay, the auto bottling is underway and it looks like we're getting quite a bit out uh, per bottle. So that, that's going to work quite well. If it comes up to here, I might just move the bottle emptier up. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think in fact, if it does, does get that one, do I want to do that now? Do I want to do that now? Maybe not now, but we will do it very shortly. Why are you unilluminated? Because these have not been dealt with because I've been turning up other priorities too high, uh, including the bottle emptying. But here come some people to do the job now, right? Yeah, uh, that's the two of them. That Two should be enough, right? Two should be enough, I think. Uh, these guys are still doing that. Oh, oh, why Why would you do that, buddy? That's That's just a bad plan. That is just a bad, bad plan. I was going to start up on making the next sort of bunkhouse for everybody here, but I think we're just going to carry on on this episode finishing up the uh, cold area, hot area, cold area, whatever this is, the heat transfer layers uh, to see whether it's going to work out for us. I, th I think it is. I think it is. As long as we get all the polluted water in here that we want. I keep... Uh, pumping colder polluted water in here so the temperature of it keeps going back down but I think it is doing exactly what I want. I watched it overnight when no more water was being pumped in and the temperature was definitely constantly on the way up so if we could just get a bit more water in enough to be able to run the pump at the same time as having liquid in there then I will definitely be a happy bunny oh look this is turned on Nice. Let's have a look and see what's going on over here. Is this being pushed down at all? Not, not yet but it's on its way it's on its way I'm wondering if I'm going to have to let some of these liquids out, not liquids, gases out of here. They seem to be building up quite heavily, but I suppose that's all part of putting uh, polluted oxygen in there, I suppose. Yes, yes I do.
Oh man, the chlorine's become a problem. Oh no, let's put a couple of doors up here at the highest level. Oh, we've only got iron ore left. I suppose that's kind of okay. I'll put two of them up like that. I wonder where I'm going to get more copper from. I mean, we've got little bits scattered around. Uh, it's going to be difficult when we totally run out of that stuff, though. Okay, here comes some more. It's a little bit of a shame that the uh, chlorine got to uh, so high a pressure there. A little bit of a shame. We can live with it, though. Uh, still still no coal biome, though. Still no coal. What's this? Sand? Nope. Still no coal biome. Okay, I think removing the uh, the oxygenizer is a failed experiment. This just keeps losing too much pressure. So we're going to put it back, and we're just going to hope that it doesn't go too far. I mean, I would like to get that knock gate installed, but it turns out I don't have that yet. In fact, let's go to the research. Advanced automation. There's not much more I need to get it done, so I'm going to queue that up so we can start talking about what about knot gates. I mean, knot gates are so useful when it comes to t toggling states between two items, uh, which is exactly what I want to do between this gas pump and this the oxygenizer. I don't want this firing whilst this is turned on. Mm, yes. Oh, it's so close. I kind of feel like I need to run a different power system. I need to break this system here, have this half being run on one system, and then this half being run on another. Uh, so because I feel like it needs to be done, I'm going to do it. We're going to deconstruct this one here and put down a tile in its place as soon as we actually get the uh, go-ahead to do so. What's that? Obsidian? May or may not be the, the stone of choice there. I'm going to do it out of sandstone instead. People are not going to be able to get through when I do this. How how about we do it another way? We break these ones down. That might be uh, the better way of doing it there. Can I put up those priorities? Thank you very much. Nice. So we come into the power and get ourselves one of these power transformers. Yeah, just like that. That should work a-okay for me. Heavy watt wires go down and across and our normal wires come across like that. Then we want to deconstruct these like that yeah yeah very much then we can put more power into this pump because it's going to have to be working at some point and then we've got the access for water as and when we need it this one is saying that it's not pumping yet so that's good yeah i think everything should be set up for us to p9 just straight across like that yeah these, these as well would also be good if we could get those worked on yeah no yeah yeah sort of toilet first okay fair enough Okay, Tarkin going for a little bit of a wander here. Got to start pushing back this area. Oh, is this... No, that's granite. Abyssalite, though. This could be the border between another cold biome. I just have this real strong suspicion that, that it's not. Oh, oh, I thought not, but look, there's some ice. Oh, great. We might be able to start getting ourselves some wheeze warts and dealing with their heat instead of just, like, shuffling it around. Not saying that I don't want to shuffle it around, but uh, it, it's it's hard to deal with extreme heats when you're just dealing with gases unless you have some wheeze warts. And uh, wheeze warts just over there. Well, I've not seen one yet. We've got some sleep wheat. There's one. There's one right there. Awesome. Yes. Okay, with things starting to look like they're working, I've decided to turn this thermosensor into the way that I want it to work. If it's below, if it's above 10 degrees, I'm actually going to type in 10, uh, then please turn the pump on. Uh, that then shuffles water up and round, and we're going to start getting very hot water down here. I don't know if this is going to overheat. Um, I mean, that is, that is a possibility. No, as long as we got it touching water, I think we're okay. I've also put in a second bottle emptier here because I would like polluted water. Enable bottle opening nine, please. Uh, that should also be a high priority. Has this all been emptied out yet? No, it hasn't. So uh, these guys are just being slack. That's what I'm finding out here. Just being slack. Oh, wow. Look how quickly the temperature is dropping on that polluted water. We're down to 17 already. The real question is, is it going to, like, pass it onto the top here? I mean, ideally, I wanted that to be completely submerged when this was going on. Uh, but with that said, we are getting a lot of temperature being pumped out up here. As soon as I can find the polluted water, it's right down the bottom there. It's nearly up to 40 degrees already, which is pretty good going. Uh, we might have to disable these buildings soon so we can start closing everything off but we're, we're doing quite well here actually we're doing quite well what is that where's that pumping out from oh it's from the carbon skimmer maybe we could pump that back up and in as well uh because you know it, it's a waste waste to send dirty water around in funny places uh if we just come down up and across and through and last little bit in like that uh we should be able to make that a thing can i tile wire liquid bridge 
can't disable it, but I can deconstruct it. So we're, we're going to go with that instead. That that might help. That might help. Uh, these guys definitely making sure the work gets done over here. As soon as this ripple here makes its way all the way across, we'll start taking all this apart and sealing it up. We're a little bit worried about the steam at the top, though. If I put an airflow tile here, we can start like extracting steam. That, that might be a plan. Might be a plan. We'll have to see how the steam reacts. There's a pressure problem here pressure problem uh thankfully that's something we can definitely check out i've decided that we will explore this cold biome and next episode uh and i'm just waiting just as i say just waiting for this to top up so i can wrap up this episode Oh, I did turn off. Oh, that's amazing. So the thermo sensor has gone down. This is now starting to build up back up the heat and it's taking all the heat out there. Oh, that's a lovely. Uh, we were almost up to 40s and now just with that simple chilling down of these two stages in between, uh, we've got ourselves a nice sort of system that's not in danger of overheating and melting. This pipe pump maybe maybe we'll just get rid of that we'll let we'll just let that break and i think with a nighttime setting i'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure i will see you guys next time where we are going to explore that coal biome think up think about other ways of a uh, chilling out get ourselves a few more duplicates and maybe have a different type of farm up here but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye